Hi there, let's start setting up our development environment. In this video, I will show you how to set up an IDE. Hi, my name is Nahid. I'm a professional software engineer. I want to help you master tools and techniques of modern computing one video at a time. Let's dig into today's content. We are going to be using an IDE called VS Code. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. It's a program that lets you type in your source code, highlight your syntax, shows error messages, lets you compile your source code, run your program, debug your program, and a lot of other things. VS Code stands for Visual Studio Code. It's my favorite IDE at the moment. Note by VS Code, I don't mean Visual C++. That's a different IDE and compiler by Microsoft. These days, it's probably using VS Code as its base, but we are not gonna use it. We only want the VS Code IDE. That's because we're going to use a different compiler called GCC. It trans it's short for GNUC compiler. It's a free open source compiler. It's one of the best kept ones out there. For starters, let's download and install Visual Studio Code. Let's open up a browser and search for VS Code. The top result should be code.visualstudio.com. Let's go in. By the way, I'm using a setup that's maintained by the VS Code folks. If you go to their documentation page and go down to C++, you will see the option that we're using as well as instructions for how to do the same on Linux and equivalent on Mac. So let's go into Windows. This is the setup guide. We need to start by downloading and installing Visual Studio Code. So let's go to download. Let's pick our OS. And download will start shortly. Once it's downloaded, we want to run this. I accept the agreement. That location is fine. Pick all the options you want and install. VS Code is installed. After installation, we want to run this. You should get a window like this. VS Code is like most other IDE. The main purpose is to edit source code. Usually the big area in the middle is dedicated to that. On the left hand side, we have a sidebar. If you don't see it, you can click here. On the left of that, we have the actions bar that shows the different things we can do with the sidebar. At the bottom, we can have a terminal window. If it's not visible, you can click here. By the way, in my videos, I will show you how to do everything from the command line. It's a good thing to get used to because there won't be GUI tools for everything we want to do. I'm not going to get distracted here, but I will post a separate video on how to use command line and link it here. For us, the next step is to install the C++ extension. For that, we need to click on the extensions tab. We need to search for C++. The top result should be the C++ extension by Microsoft. Let's install this. And it's done. If you like this content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. All questions, comments, requests and feedback are welcome. I will see you in the next video.